Well, that was the game against Chelsea that uh, took place on Sunday. And um, to be fair, I thought that it was a lot better of a game than I thought uh, I thought it would be. Uh, as, as always, I'm going to be talking about the game and the goals and stuff. So if you don't want to hear about that, then uh, do watch the game or listen to the game first. And then come back and listen to what I've got to say about it. Which is actually um, some good some good um, appraisal of it, really. I felt that, um, you know, Chelsea... I, I I had a feeling, and I talked about this in the, in the previous video, that we weren't going to be winning this game. That was my own obvious feeling. But at, at the end of the game yesterday, I felt as though we were hard done by. Um, you know, I felt as though we could have at least got a draw out of that and should have at least got a draw out of that. But, um, but anyway... Going into the game, we we knew from the team, the team sheet that um, that Munoz was playing. Obviously, that Adam Wharton was going to be playing, and also Mateus Franca was going to be playing. He was going to be doing the uh, the Elise role out on the uh, left hand side on left hand wing, and so it was good to see him uh, get his first Premier League start. It was good to see Adam Wharton get his first Premier League start as well, and um, it it certainly gave me a bit more of. Uh, of a of a boost, shall we say, to say that we were going to be at least trying to to get something out of the game. Now I'm going to caveat with this by saying that Chelsea weren't at their best. I don't think they were at their best, but obviously you just got you got to play the play the team that turn up. And so you know at the beginning in the first half, I felt that we were we were working really hard. You know we didn't sit back too much, which I thought we were going to do. We were we were trying to get forward. We were trying to involve. The, you know the uh, you know the players on the wings and and Mateta up front. We were trying to involve him as well, and it was you know we were moving well as a unit, trying to defend and things like that. So I felt that you know in general we were doing all right. You know Chelsea didn't really have a huge amount of opportunities at us in the first half. I think it was only only one or two maybe. Um, you know they they were they were quite they found it quite difficult to get into our get into our box which is exactly what we wanted you know we wanted them to be hard hard for them to get into the box hard for them to um to get anything in terms of good chances and i think for the most part that happened we were very regimented we worked really hard and you know in the first half i felt that we were we were doing really well and then um to top it all off we had uh, we had the worldy the screamer from uh, from lerma absolutely fantastic goal it was a bit of a scramble on the outside of the box. And, um, you know, Lerma, up until this point, he's, he's, he's tried to do this a couple of times. We've seen him take some really good uh, shots at goal. Most of them, unfortunately, have gone over the bar or they've gone wide. But this one went straight into the side of the net. An absolutely fantastic shot. And, uh, you know, I'm so pleased for him because he works really hard in the midfield there. He's really done an incredible job there to steady things in the middle. Now Decore isn't there. And um, and it was just great to see him get his his first goal for Crystal Palace. He's the type of player who can get those goals. You know, he's got that talent. So, you know, he's going to be a good outlet for us potentially in future, getting some uh, getting some good goals. So it was great to go in one up at half time. Because um, I was really I really didn't think we were going to get. Well, I wasn't even sure we were going to score a goal. But to get a goal first and to go in at one nil was brilliant. I thought that was absolutely amazing for us. Um, beginning of the second half was delayed a little bit because the referee had a bit of problem with his communication, uh, which I don't think helped either either team. But it was one of those situations where, from the kickoff, um, unfortunately Chelsea got out of the gates a bit quicker than we did and managed to get the equaliser quite early on in the second half. Uh, Conor Gallagher, who um, is a, a bit of a, a bit of a thorn in our side, you know, he plays so well for us and he's loved by the fans. But he's also the one that all scores against us for Chelsea. It's, it's, it, really, it really is one of those two-sided swords sort of thing. But um, he got the goal to make it 1-1. And I was a bit concerned at that point. I thought we might capitulate. I thought we might crumble. But we didn't. We did try to get back in the game. And I think that we generally worked uh, almost as well as we did in the first half. Chelsea changed their formation and changed things around a little bit. Made it a little bit more difficult for us to, to have the same type of... Um, play as we had in the first half but we were holding our own for the majority of the game and I was had everything crossed that we were going to get a point out of this game but then right at the end um, Conor Gallagher got his second goal which was a real 
a real blow for me personally because I felt that we really did deserve at least a point from that game. And, you know, we were trying to get forward. We were trying to make things happen. We were trying to go for a goal. And that's when we, we left things too open at the back. And that's just one of the things that happens, unfortunately. But at least we were trying. At least we were trying to push forward and get something out of the game. And then the third goal, right at the very, very end, right at the dead of the game, that was just... That was just cruel as far, as far as I'm concerned. Certainly, the game was not a 3-1 win to Chelsea type of game. You know, we worked really hard. We played really well. In You know, in terms of keeping the ball and, and trying to keep the ball and trying to move the ball around. I thought it was a really good performance from us. So, it was difficult to, to find any fault with it. I don't think there was any fault with it. I mean, you know, there were a couple of incidents that, you know, could, we could have done better. But... In general terms, I felt that we worked really hard. In terms of personnel, I think Munoz had a great game. You know, it was great to see him running up the wing, trying to get involved in the play and trying to get into the box and put crosses in or whatever. It was great to see him do that, and that you know, and that's exactly what we need there on the. Uh, that's exactly what we need there as a as a as a right back. So it was good to see him doing that. Mitchell had a bit of a tired time on the left side, um, so I I know I understand why he didn't get forward quite as much. Um, but it was, you know, it was good to see. Uh, it was good to see that he was um, he was working really hard at the back. Obviously, you know, he had a bit more of a difficult time, so he wasn't able to get forward as much as um, as much as Munoz did. But you know, I think he was he played well. I think Adam Wharton had a good game. Started off a bit tentatively, but um, grew into the game as it went on, and actually became, you know, was getting better and better as the game went on, and he was putting in tackles, and his passing was really good. Some lovely little passes he did on there. It really worked hard. And, um, you know, it's a bit of a baptism of fire for him, I think, at the beginning of the game because it was very fast-paced. But he, he came on really well and took a, you know, and really took the game by the scruff of the neck and was working really hard with Hughes in the middle there. Hughes, I thought, worked really hard. I know there were some people having a go at Hughes, but I think actually he worked really hard. He's a bit clumsy in the tackle sometimes, but I think generally he worked really hard. I think... Um, Matthias Franke was, um, was was good. I think he, you know, he had some good runs into the box. He had a shot at goal, which was unfortunately too close to the goalkeeper. He was, uh, you know, he was trying to get into the tackles as well sometimes. So he was doing well. A little bit frail in terms of defensive side of his game. You know, he's, he's he made a couple of mistakes. Uh, you know, rookie mistakes. Um, you know, he lost the ball and then didn't chase back with the with the player stuff like that. But they were just little things. On the whole, I think he had a really good game, and. As time goes on, he's going to learn that side of the game and he's going to get better and improve. So I think it was good to have those three players and uh, they worked really well. So, I don't know. What do we make of this game? I think it was. A, I think it's one of those games where we were fortunate, should we say, to get Chelsea on a not such a good day. I think we did deserve to get at least a point out of that game. But it's, still, it's another defeat and it's another nil point. So... Speaking to Roy Hodgson at the end after the game, the press were talking about it, and he said that he felt that they were very unlucky to come away with the result that they did, which I think is true. Um, he said that uh, Hughes went off uh, at some point. Hughes went off at some point, and uh, you know Ahamada came on as well. And he said that the reason why Hughes went off is because he had an injury. He was limping for the last uh, five or ten minutes before he went off. Didn't say what the injury was. But apparently he's got picked up an injury. Uh, Franco went off, but he uh, he he was getting tired by that point apparently. So he was he did look a bit jaded towards the end. So he went off as well. But um, it, in general, I think it was a really good game for us. But we've got to do it again. We've got to keep doing it now for the rest of the fourteen games of the season. We've got to keep putting in those performances. You know, on a, on another day on another team, that we probably would have got at least a point out of that. So you know, I think that we need to. Just try and uh, think about that in, in many respects. I'm not entirely sure that um, anything is going to happen with Roy at the moment, I think, because there isn't anyone that Steve, is, Steve Parrish seems to be able to get in. So it's going to be a, a waiting game, I think, until we can find out what's going on there. Hopefully, fingers crossed again, we can pick up um, some points against against Everton. It's going to be a tough game. I think if we play the way we did against Chelsea, we've got a chance. But it's going to be a tough game. So well, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the new guys who uh, who played. Let me know um, 
how you uh, how you felt about them and whether you think they were good or not or uh, and also let me know what you think about the game in general and about how uh, how we played love to hear your thoughts as always and also don't forget to subscribe for more crystal palace news and i'll see you next time